What's going on, XLM Army, XLM community? Thank you for coming back to the Jolie channel. I know it's been a little while, I took a little hiatus, but I've been doing heavy, heavy research and I've been doing my homework and just studying the market nonstop in between uh, work and just dealing with uh, my clients and stuff like that. So I haven't forgot about you guys. I haven't forgot about crypto. I haven't forgot about Stellar Lumen. So please bear with me. I know there's a lot been going on, but we're still not out of the game. Okay, I just want I, I just want to be clear to you guys. Please hang in there. We are still not out of it. Still, please still have faith uh, in the market that I told you guys in my last video though that this market is not easy. That there's a lot of traps ahead, and I got a lot of not a lot, but I had some people who were a little bit upset. Uh, even though I thought I was pretty modest with the titling, but you know, some people are a little bit upset. You know, how could you say that the price is going to go down possibly after Thanksgiving if you're in the States or America, or it's going to go down by the beginning of December, first week, right? Which we're here now, we're first week, we're beginning in December, we're now at a new bottom. So, guys, I have to be honest, you know, that's I think that's where I want to take this uh, in my future is to be honest, but I want to do it in a gentle way, of course. Um, I don't want to be harsh about it or, oh, what is it, fighting that everything is, you know, it's game over. I, like, I don't want to do that. Like, I want to be very modest and gentle about it, but I have to be honest, though. That I, I think that's a key point, and that's kind of the, that's kind of just my core, one of my core rules. I, as much as possible just to be, you know, straightforward. As much as possible. So please uh, understand that um, if you don't like it, then I guess you know what can I do? You know, <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot of other people you can you know definitely you know watch and um, or you know there's plenty of content out there. So, but let me you know hop into what I do with the different you know scenarios uh, moving forward. Today is uh, December 5th in Seoul, Korea, and we are now at a new low of 27. But I do have some good news to back up why I say to hang in there and we're not out of the game. And I'm still leaning towards the bullish scenario. I'm still leaning towards Q1. December is going to be really starting uh, a new kind of rise. It's going to take some time to really form this bottom. But let's, let's just go hop into it, right? Okay, so in the last video two weeks ago, two, three weeks ago, uh, I was saying, you know, there's a bunch of traps coming in. It's, you know, it's tricky. Uh, we don't know what's going to happen. And yeah, and I, I, I drew this little hammer up here. I didn't draw it, but I put this hammer up here that we got knocked down. I did believe that we were going to bottom out at 30 cents, but we got one more. Hey, XLM is on sale. Opportunity of a lifetime to pick up some cheap, incredibly cheap XLM. If you have extra funds and you want to take a chance this is not financial advice just for education and entertainment purposes so um but hey if you want to throw in a few bucks just for fun like whatever uh maybe you want to use some of that money you would use for something else like for drinks or something why not hey why not just uh, get some experience you know it doesn't hurt instead of buying those beers or cocktails for whatever it is you know throw it into the market see what happens so Anyways, those are my two cents there. So what's going to happen moving forward? I, I think that's what you guys want. XLM community, XLM army. You guys are worried about, man, is my investment going to be okay? Whether you're short term, mid term, or you're huddling. Um, I have something for everybody here in today in this video. So definitely stay tuned uh, for the future. Um, so what's what I see moving forward now, let's, uh, let's kind of zoom in. So in the last video, I drew these bottoms, right? One, two. And... Look at this guys, we're getting now a third one. Like I was talking about in my video two weeks ago that we're eventually gonna bottom out after Thanksgiving or beginning of December. And I really believe within five to 10 days, one to two weeks that we are gonna finish this bottom and we are going to reverse, getting a either a, a relief rally or a bounce or a dead cat bounce, at least get a bounce or a relief rally or this could be what shoots us, catapults us to the upside, right? Catapults us parabolically. 
this could be that blow off mania stage. We'll see what happens, but at least we're gonna get a bounce within five to 10 days. That's my prediction, not financial advice, just for ed education and entertainment purposes. So, so what I see happening, regardless of dead cat bounce or getting a dead cat bounce or a parabolic stage, uh, parabolic rise is then by the time within five, 10 days, give or take, it could do something like, it could dip back down to 25. I think it's gonna hold my uh, celestial web line as support as you can see here um, around 27 yeah 27 ish cents here and and then from there it's just gonna bounce off of it and reverse right you know hitting at that this last heavy um, sell up zone and so in the short term is it'll hit here um, and then what could happen you could either you know once it hits there it could kind of consolidate, building whatever a bull flag, ascending triangle, whatever uh, mini mini version of that before working to the upside, okay? Or maybe it'll have to touch one more time, um, so it could either shoot up or from there, or it could touch one more time, finding major support on this celestial web line. At that point. It eh, shouldn't be January. I think it'll be more uh, end of December if it does this, but who knows? It could be beginning of January, whatever. Do something like this. Finding support here. One, two, three, and then getting one more touch point on my celestial web line that is ascending, right? Making those higher lows slowly, but surely, right? And then from there, we're going to go for a tear. Right, so I'm gonna tear break through that resistance zone at 42, getting past my celestial web line up there at 58 cents, and going back to all time highs, breaking through at 80 cents, 79, and we're just gonna go on a rip, right? Rip all the way to all time highs, right? At least up to a dollar or 90 cents, okay? And Q1. Right, Q1 could be January, February, or March, right? So we have two pathways for the bullish scenario, okay? So we can either, as we reverse in five, 10 days, maybe we can break through this last resistance zone at 36 or 40 cents zone, right? And just go for, excuse my language, go for a tear uh, to the upside and finally reverse up there by mid to end to beginning of January or we go up, get this bounce, which, you know, if you're day day trading or swing trading, that will be at least 30 to 40% profit. And then you could take profits there and then pull back, right? Pull back to a potential uh, bounce at this last major support zone at 20 to 29. It should be forming a, a slightly higher low that's ascending. And from there, going on a freaking tear like I drew right there, right? Which would lead into that Q1 major blow up mania stage that um, we're anticipating. I know a lot of people were saying December, guys, December is too easy. A lot of, a lot of people were anticipating uh, December as being a mania stage. It's just too easy, guys. There is definitely a delay here. Um, and historically, there has been a delay. So, um, and it's starting to come true that it, it, it's being delayed and it's it has to be that way guys it can't be too easy where everybody's saying q4 is going to go hundred thousand for for example like bitcoin and xlm is going to be nine ten dollars by december of this year it's just too too easy when too many people are talking about it so we have to stay sharp guys all right all right so that's the bullish scenario so i'm definitely leaning towards that and and why I'm leaning towards this bullish scenario, um, just to throw it in, to make you guys feel a little bit better, right? Okay, so I kind of gave you the path of what I expect within the next week or two, um, within December, pretty much. But um, why I'm still leaning towards that is because, and why I believe we're not out of the game, and nobody's actually talking about this, I don't think so, is I know I've drawn a... Um, a massive geo uh, symmetrical triangle I want to but I want to draw it again and show you guys something here that's kind of unique okay I want to show you guys something really quickly 
Um, this is like a bonus for you guys, okay? Check this out. All right, so when we look, look at this borderline, at this borderline in this symmetrical triangle, right? You see in, there's one touch point here, one, two, and three. Here's the twist, and that's gonna shake a lot of classic technical analysis, which I was talking about in my video two weeks ago, man. A lot of people are gonna get confused in this market, everyone, is if we look here, guys, th this is a special triangle, what we call a irregular triangle. What is a special irregular triangle? This is when the second touch point at the bottom of the triangle doesn't touch, but the first and third are touching, okay? So when this happens, this is a very kind of special situation, which makes sense. This is a very special market. So, and it's giving me um, some confluence here is that from here, we're gonna get a, uh, usually traditionally, if this, uh, this type of uh, pattern plays out or wave pattern plays out, and that it sh this should be a uh, reversal a pattern on top of what I was talking about with which coincides and correlates with everything I was saying before adding why this bull market is not done and we're not out of the game yet so this is traditionally historically off of massive amounts of data and time is a kind of bullish reversal pattern it looks scary though when we look at this irregular triangle because a lot of people will say hey you know what, it dropped below, below that last local bottom, man. I think we need to get out. And you saw a lot of people got liquidated. If they were leverage trading, their stop loss has been triggered. A lot of people are, you know, screaming, pulling their hair. I have friends and family, like, telling me, why isn't it going up? Joe, Joe I think you're, you know, there's something wrong, right? So, guys, just give it a chance. Give it a chance. Give it a week or two. Just try. Let's see what happens. You know, as you know, I'm documenting. I'm documenting this, guys. Right for you, for everyone in the community, just not to give up and to help you guys, even if it's in a little way. I, I just want to help a little bit, right? Just give it a try. Give it a chance, right? Especially if you bought below, right? Um, what, whatever, ten, twelve, even like twenty cents, right? Just, just hang in there, right? Why sell right now? right? At least give it a chance. Of course, this is not financial advice, just for entertainment and educational purposes, but just give it a chance. I gave you some um, confluence points there to help you with just boosting confidence to the upside, right? Of course, we never know what could happen, right? We got like a new, new COVID variant of Omicron, which some people were saying that was the trigger, part of the trigger for the sell-off. So, which is funny, you know, I was saying in all my bear scenarios, you know, there, you know, there could be like a new, it's not a zombie outbreak, but, you know, there could be something that triggers the bear scenario. I don't think it's a bear scenario though, but in this case, I'm leaning towards more of this was just part of us causing a sell-off, which to me, it makes sense. It can't be easy, guys. It can't be easy. Okay. All right. So let's hop into the bear scenario. What, what could happen in the bear scenario? So you guys are... Uh, just for um, just to help you guys and just to help envision and kind of just boost your imagination of you know what could happen if it were in a, a bearish scenario. So you know, kind of taking a twist off of the bullish scenario is that we talked about this kind of bounce that's coming, this impending bounce, this or really rally dead cat bounce. Um, which could lead into, you know, parabolic rise or new new highs, back to all-time highs, whatever. Or it could just be it gets stuck there, which I drew in this scenario, right? The first one where it needed a fourth touch point. So it'll get up to maybe that uh, last heavy resistance zone where the sell-off is. Um, it could be 37 at you know, maybe it might fail at 32, but let's say maybe 37, maybe even gets up to 42. Um, we just want it to get it over, right? If it is, we don't want to be teased like that. But either way, um, just to give a little taste, let's say it gets up to 38 cents, then, you know, kind of um, 
at here, kind of like that first bullish scenario where it's kind of consolidating, then it will go back down, right? And this is where the twist is. Uh, the twist of the bullet, that first bullish scenario that I give is that it's gonna break that last support. Uh, maybe there might be a small bounce and then going below that, right? And then just kind of going sideways, right? Going, going into Q1, Q2 of 20, 2022, kind of doing something like this. So this is the bearish scenario that um, that could possibly play out. I'm not leaning towards that, just letting you know I say that every time. So, but we have to stay sure, we never know, right? So um, I hope that helped you guys today. I hope that kind of boosts your confidence, whether you're short-term, mid-term, long-term, you're a hodler, um, whether you plan on swing trading, day trading, whatever, right? So um, I hope this helped today. Please stay tuned. If you guys are having a hard time, you know, definitely check out my affirmation series, which should be in the description below in the first comment. And guys, just, you know, definitely hang in there. Just give it a try this month. You know, really just give it a try. I think we're being delayed in the market as a whole, including Seller Lumens. So just hang in there. You know, keep believing, keep the faith, and in the end, we will achieve. All right, so definitely stay tuned. Definitely subscribe if you haven't. Definitely like this video if you want. It's up to you guys. Um, I think it will help you to stay notified. I don't make videos all the time. Um, so this is a small channel. So I give everything when I do make videos on this channel. I don't have a private community yet. I don't have a private membership or a Patreon. Uh, not yet. When I do though, it's I will be updating all the time with tons of information. Um, definitely that will be useful and a lot of tradable ideas. And so um, I think it's going to be definitely worthwhile in the future. But uh, for now, you know, if you did find my channel while it's small, uh, it's like like 500 subscribers, definitely stay tuned. You know, I'm giving everything on here when I do post content and videos. So um, all right, guys, uh, have a wonderful day. We'll catch you in the next one. Thank you and peace.